what is a blockchain and how does it work? In essence, blockchain is based on a distributed ledger technology, DLT for short. But what does this mean? Think of a blockchain as a secure database that can only store immutable data, data that cannot be changed, and it is highly transparent. In order for us to fully understand what blockchain is, let's look at it visually. Let's imagine a chain of blocks, a blockchain. And then let's go ahead and zoom in on one block. As we can see, a block contains a set of records. These records can vary depending on the chain. In the case of Bitcoin, these records could be all transactions. And with Ethereum, these could be a mixture of transactions and contract interactions. We'll discuss smart contracts on a later stage. For now, just understand that the contents, the data of a block, consist of records. But how do we make sure that these records are immutable after a block has been created? Well, this is where cryptography comes into play. What essentially happens is that the contents of this block, its records, makes up a hash. And this hash is the identifier of this block. This hash is generated whenever the block is filled up and the capacity of a block is dependent on a chain. So whenever the block fills up, the hash is created and a new block is added to the chain. But how do these two blocks know to form a chain? This is where the previous hash comes into play. Each block knows its own hash, the set of records and it has an extra hash, and this hash is the hash of the previous block, creating a so-called chain. And this is indeed the connection that binds two blocks. This process happens over and over. When a block fills up, it takes the contents, hashes it, creates its own hash, and adds it to the chain. As we can see from the chain of blocks that's formed, it would be impossible for a malicious actor to change data in a previous block because the contents will produce a different hash, making it invalid. And this makes blockchain technology very secure, especially when you look at the key feature of a blockchain technology and its decentralization. Unlike traditional ledger systems, which are typically maintained by a central authority, a blockchain is maintained by a network of computers. This network is made up of nodes which are computers or devices that have a copy of the blockchain and participates in the consensus process to validate new transactions and add them to the chain. But what are these consensus mechanisms? Consensus mechanisms are algorithms that are used in blockchain technologies to ensure that all nodes on the network agree on the state of a blockchain and that new transactions are valid. And much like how the records of a block can change based on the network that you are on, this is the same with consensus. For instance, with the Bitcoin network, you get a consensus mechanism, proof of work, POW, and with Ethereum, recently moving over to POS, proof of stake. Proof of work is a consensus mechanism that is used to secure a blockchain network by requiring nodes, so-called miners, to solve complex mathematical problems in order to validate new transactions and add them to the chain. The first miner to solve this problem gets a reward, and in this case, they get a certain amount of coins. But what are these coins? Later on, we'll discuss cryptocurrency and coins. For now, just understand, miners are rewarded in bitcoins when it comes to the Bitcoin network. And this is a process of also releasing new coins into circulation. On the other side, Ethereum makes use of proof of stake, POS. And proof of stake is a consensus mechanism that is used to secure a blockchain network by choosing validators, who are randomly chosen based on the amount of stake they hold, to validate new transactions and add them to the chain. This process is known as staking. The validators are chosen randomly based on the amount of stake they hold and also varying factors such as their reputation. These validators are then also rewarded in Ethereum's coin, which is called Ether. You can visualize each blockchain as its own country, and each country has its own currency that it utilizes. 
and that's a simple explanation to understand the main token. For this course, we'll be focusing on the Ethereum network, and when it comes to Ethereum, you also get to deal with smart contracts, which we'll touch on later in this course. However, just know that with Ethereum, you can also get subcurrencies known as tokens, Ether being the main coin, and with the help of smart contracts, subcoins can be created to create tokens. These coins, as well as the subtokens on Ethereum side, are known as digital assets, and NFTs being a flavor of a digital asset as well. All these digital assets can be traded amongst individuals kept safe on their own individual wallets, which we'll explain later in the series. For now, I want you to understand the basic principle of a blockchain network and how it functions. Because when it comes down to interacting or developing on a blockchain, it is crucial to understand or at least have a basic knowledge on the moving parts in the network. 